Yo, what's good? It's your boy Lesser Power. Welcome to another Remnant 2 build video. In this video, I'm bringing you my Monarch Thousand Cuts build. I've been trying to find that gun that actually feels good now. Ever since the patch dropped, it seems like our weapons took a major hit. They don't even perform like even close to what they used to. And skill builds are basically meta right now. But this Thousand Cuts Monarch build actually feels comfortable killing mobs and bosses, man. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, man. Next, we're going to knock out the traits. We got ammo reserves at level 10. We got fortify at level 10. Gifted is at level 10 to extend the duration on Gunslinger. It's just by six seconds, but it's worth it. Next, we got long shot at level 10. We got spirit at level uh, zero because, you know, the Monarch doesn't use mod power. We got endurance at level two. Vigor at level 10. We got Swiftness at level 10 so you can move around faster. Regrowth is at level 10. We got Expertise at level 10. Um, Bark Skin is at level 8. We got Footwork at level 10. Just so the, when the rounds are in homie mode, you can aim just more comfortably. And then next we got uh, Siphoner at level 10. Alright, next we're going to knock out the archetypes. We got Hunter with Hunter's Focus. You basically need Hunter's Focus for that 25% range damage and that 25% weak spot damage. Next we got Dead to Right, so you can basically refresh your Hunter skills. And then we got Gunslinger, so you can get that 20% uh, rate of fire and that 50% reload speed. You definitely want to increase the rate of fire on the Monarch. Alright, next for the equipment, we got the Chill Steam. This is going to increase your movement speed by 10%. For the armor, we got the uh, Bloodless Crown, we got the Little Mark 1 armor, we got the Red Widow Leggings, and then we got the Little Mark 1 gloves. For the Relic, we got the Shielded Heart on use grants and shield for 100% of your max health. We got Mythic Range Critical Hit Chance, Mythic Range Critical Hit Damage, and we got Mythic Range Rate of Fire. With the Monarch, you want to increase your rate of fire as much as possible. Next, we got the Monarch Plus 10, and you know it comes with Chain of Command. This allows the gun to enter Harpoon mode. And whenever you hit an enemy or a target with that harpoon, you can fire homing rounds at the target. Next, we got Thousand Cuts plus 10. Increases this weapon's critical hit chance and critical hit damage by 0.5% for each shot fired. The max stack is 50. So you can get up to 25% critical hit chance and 25% critical hit damage. At level 10, increases this weapon's reload speed by 1% per stack. So at max stacks, you can basically get 50% reload speed, and this is not including the reload speed you get from Gunslinger or the uh, haste from Night Reaver's Grudge. Next, we got the Dream Catcher plus 10 with Dream Wave and Latency, and then we got the Nebula plus 10, which has Nano Swarm, which applies Corroded, giving you even more damage. And then for the Mutator, we got Maelstrom plus 10. It increases this weapon's elemental damage by 10% and then at level 10 increases mod power generation of elemental damage and elemental status damage by 20%. Next we got the Atonement Fold Ring. This is going to inflict bleeding upon yourself and also give you 5% critical hit chance. Next we got Xenia's Malice giving you up to 20% weak spot damage. Then we got the Probability Core giving you 20% crit hit damage. And next we got the Ravenger's Bargain, increasing all damage by 5% and all critical hit chance by 5% while bleeding. And whenever you're fighting bosses with huge weak spots, you want to swap this out for the Ring of Flaw Beauty to get that 25% weak spot damage. Um, next we got the Night Reaver's Grudge. This is going to grant you 15% critical hit chance and haste whenever you're 20 meters of an entity suffering from a status effect. And since we got the Atonement Fold Ring, this is always going to be active. Um, my next build is going to be a hybrid build. I've been working on it for a while. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all you guys for coming through. Deuces.